Hello there everyone, this is 5 Minutes Medicine and today we're gonna talk about congestive heart disease which is a very dreadful condition and is becoming extremely common worldwide and can be understood as a condition in which the heart is not able to pump enough blood causing damage to organs and which might lead to accumulation of fluid in lungs and in third spaces. Since we said CHF is very common worldwide, let's understand the risk factors of it. Other underlying diseases like diabetes, coronary artery disease and volvular diseases contributes to it very commonly. Conditions like obesity and hypertension are often related to congestive heart disease. As for the types, there are mainly two types of CHF which are right-sided congestive heart failure and left-sided congestive heart failure which can either be because of systolic failure or contraction abnormality or diastolic failure or relaxational abnormality. So before everything let's understand some basic concept of cardiac conduction. So in normal condition our heart receives the deoxygenated blood from the body at right atrium via vena cava and then sends it to lungs for oxygenation via pulmonary artery. The oxygenated blood then returns to left atrium via pulmonary vein and is sent to distribution by left ventricle via aorta. But the important point to note here is that the heart does not pump out entire blood which is received. For instance, it receives around 130 ml of blood in every cycle, but sends out only 70 ml. This is around 60% of the received amount, which is termed here as ejection fraction. But what happens in congestive heart failure is that there is a very significant amount of drop in pumping out blood by heart that is around 70 ml per cycle. This could either be because of decreased preload that is the amount of blood coming to the heart as it is seen in conditions like cardiomyopathy or due to decreased ejection fraction that is the ability of the heart to pump out blood. All of these conditions lead to symptoms like dyspnea or orthopnea, feeling weak or fatigue, swelling of limbs, especially that of lower extremities, and having abnormal heartbeat or palpitations is also a very common phenomena in congestive heart failure. Primary diagnosis of CHF is based on symptomatic and medical history. Some common diagnostic tests include CBC and BNP blood test. Chest x-ray and ECG are done in the primary phase too. Echocardiogram is one of the most important tests for diagnosing CHF as it tells us a lot about ejection fraction and for conformational and differential diagnosis, we do tests like MRI and stress test. The treatment of the patient suffering from CHF depends upon the stage of the disease. So drugs like ACEI and ARB are given to decrease pre and the afterload. Drugs like CCB and beta blockers are given to reduce the blood pressure and also for cardiac remodeling. Hydralazine and diuretics are given to in combination with these drugs as per needed. And most importantly, the lifestyle changes, that is, leading a positive and a healthy lifestyle. So that's it for today. If you liked the video and found it helpful as well as informative, Please help the channel to grow by liking, sharing and subscribing it. Thank you. See you until next time.